Hello and welcome to 5 minutes tutorial on RF Pro. In this tutorial, we will talk about simulating process variations for your RFIC design and we will use RF Pro inside Virtuoso and you will see how easy it is to simulate these process variation and look at their impact on our circuit performance. Now, before we start, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend next few minutes in going through this interesting topic. To illustrate the concept, I have the simple spiral inductor so that the explanation seems very easy for you. But these kind of simulations you can perform on a complete chip level design. I'm going to illustrate it with this simple component. Now under this uh, RF Pro environment, I have two analysis which are exactly simulating the same inductor. But during uh, my simulation setup under options, I am free to provide the process variations. Now, these process variations can be done on a specific layer by which you can define their edge bias, which means the over etching or the under etching, or you can do the mask alignment process variation by defining registration bias in X direction and Y direction, as well as provide the thickness variation with thickness bias. Now, apart from these uh, settings, which you can define on a global level, you can, of course, use individual layer specific setting because in a real process, you will have slightly different variations in different layers. So you can go ahead and invoke one layer by one layer and define these variations uh, layer specific. Now, at the same time, you can also go to material tab and define the conductivity bias about the conductors you have used in your process technology or define the permittivity bias for your dielectric. Again, the variation can be either on a global level or you can add individual layers and define those variations. Now in this particular case, as you can see under analysis one, I have defined a permittivity bias of plus 10%. I want my permittivity to change on a global level for all the dielectrics by 10%. Now in the second analysis, which I have set up here under the process variation, I have defined minus 10% of permittivity bias. And you can have a third analysis, which is the nominal condition. And now once you have these two analysis set up, I can go ahead and run both of these analysis one after another and the simulation will be performed by RF Pro. Now the beauty of this technique in RF Pro is you don't need a parametric layout in order to perform the simulation. All these things will be taken care of automatically by RF Pro. So as a designer, your job is very simple to provide the relevant parameters you need. Now, if you want to understand a little more about these um, you know, variations and the details about it, you can go to RF Pro documentation, search for process variation, click on the first topic which appears and you can see all the detail has been provided here in a pretty uh, you know, nice manner. And you can go through all of it uh, and understand uh, you know, all these variations very well. And then accordingly, go ahead and perform these simulations in RF Pro. Now let's go back to RF Pro. And I hope the simulations are finished. Here yeah, you can see both of these simulations are finished. So now both of these analysis can be selected. We can right click, show the S parameter result. And now you can see the S parameter variation based on the process variation we define in these individual analysis. Now at the same time, if I am characterizing this component, like in this case, inductance, I can go ahead and select inductance. And now I can see how inductance value and the self resonant frequency of the inductor changes due to those process variation. So this kind of simulation gives me a very uh, fair idea about the corner cases which might happen in your chip design. Now, once you have performed the simulation, rest of the process remains same. You can go ahead and create a sub circuit out of it and uh, take this EM circuit COSIM model back to your uh, circuit simulation and look at the overall chip level response, either looking at S parameter, harmonic balance or a modulated signal analysis, whatever you may be doing for your RFIC um, you know, system design. 
Now, after this simulation, the another important thing also uh, to note that RF probe can also support the temperature variation simulation. So under options, in the temperature, you can see default temperature is set to 25 degrees, but you can go ahead and make it any other temperature level. And if you want to simulate the effect of temperature onto your circuit performance, you need to ensure the material have the temperature coefficients defined. So where do we specify that information? Well, when you go to layout and open the substrate which you are using, so here, this is the LTD file, I can open that. And once you go to material definition here, you can see all the material uh, which has been included in your stack up. Notice these material has this T norm, TC1 and TC2 uh, parameters. So when you have these parameters, which is defined as conductor, which you know the connectivity will vary with temperature. In those definitions, you can define the nominal temperature the first order temperature coefficient and the second order temperature coefficient. Once you have these parameters uh, defined as a material property, when you simulate um, these designs with RF Pro and set up the right temperature under options, the effect of that can be seen on S parameter as well as the, the any other extractions which you might be doing for your circuit. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content presented and some of this will be very useful in your practical RFIC EM simulations. Thanks for watching and wish you all the best with your design work. Stay tuned to see more advanced videos on RF Pro under this playlist. Thanks a lot for your attention.